My thanks to YouTube user Poilin Nivis for sending me an article that made my blood absolutely boil. It looks like a news article, and it's made the rounds of all the anti-vaccine and anti-medical sites. It claims that a recent revelation invalidates a prior study showing that exposure to thimerosal in vaccines is not linked to the development of autism in children. The study was conducted in Denmark and included all Danish children diagnosed with autism from 1971 to 2000. What it showed was that even though all thimerosal was removed from Danish vaccines in 1992, the autism rates continued to rise. In fact, the rates of autism were largely unchanged from 1971 to 1991. But in 1992, the rates began to climb steadily, peaking out in about 1999, where it began a small decrease. What is the topic of the fake news story? Well, it exposes a vast conspiracy to carefully exclude the 2001 data from this 30-year study, which was revealed in a Freedom of Information Act to show a continued decline from 2000. Aha! The smoking gun! Data was excluded which showed that nine years following the removal of thimerosal from vaccines, the present trend of slight decrease in autism incidents continued. The scandal! Really, this is such a manufactured controversy. What the anti-vaccine group managed to dig up was an email between two people, one of whom said, hey, why don't you include the new 2001 data before this article goes to press? The other guy says, well, the paper's already written and the figure's drawn, and all that 2001 shows is a continuation of the same trend downwards, and we already mentioned that the current trend is downwards. To quote the authors, the peak autism incidence in 1999 among children aged 2 to 4 and 5 to 6 years of age corresponds to children born in 1993 to 1997, after the introduction of thimerosal-free vaccines. That's it. No cover-up. 2001 or not, the trend falsifies the hypothesis that children not exposed to thimerosal in vaccines are at lower risk for autism in the Danish population at least. Whatever it is that prompted the increase is not dependent on thimerosal. When I dig a little deeper into this story, I find that it was submitted by the Coalition for Mercury-Free Drugs, sourced by the Coalition for Mercury-Free Drugs, and was about the Coalition for Mercury-Free Drugs, and their call for the paper, which is inconvenient for them, to be retracted because it didn't include 2001 data in a paper submitted in 2002 on a study that went back to 1971. This article is filled with deceptive misinformation. All spin and no substance. Thanks for watching. Every cell of each plant and animal contains genetic information coded onto the DNA molecule.